Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 5. So, as you can see, I'm already standing in front of Lark, where we um, will deliver that uh, spectral goop that we scraped off the floor after that harrowing Morif fight. I also made a little bit of a round of various shops and visit, visited the Alchemist uh, north of here, north of uh, New Harston, to make a few uh, potions. So, both casters now have eight mana potions. Everyone has a couple of extra healing potions just for the occasional minor emergency. And um, yeah, I just feel a bit better about that. We could probably buy a couple more energy potions and other potions in some of the shops I didn't check. Uh, and we can, I suppose, craft up to 13 more energy potions because it takes one of each of these. Um, or I might save the rest and cast, uh, cast uh, craft some energy elixirs later in the game which take an additional Grey Mold. Well, they take Grey Mold plus at least Spiritual Herbs, I want to say. Um, I don't think it takes all four of these. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, I could make a few more of those. But for now, we are going to deliver that to Actoplasm. Lark takes the disgusting item and inspects it. Yes, this is what I needed. Now I can make a new variety of soup. You begin to brace yourself for another unique culinary experience. She gathers a variety of herbs and minerals, places them in a pot, and puts the pot in the middle of the field of pylons. She mutters a spell. Energy flies from the four crystals into the pot. Soon, the brew begins to steam. She takes some for herself and gives the rest to you. Sadly, this soup is the most disgusting so far. You have to clap your hands over your mouth to keep it from flying out of your throat. Ghosts taste bad. Soon, the soup takes effect. You feel as insubstantial as a ghost. Your enemies will have a harder time targeting you. Okay. Soon, the disgusting aftertaste of the soup fades, but the, the effect remains. So we are now slightly transparent. Um, okay. Lark says brightly, Well, that was horrible, but the recipe worked. It makes me want to take advantage of more of Erica's research. Also, after all of the help you have given me, you deserve a special reward. I will unlock one of the doors upstairs. Feel free to take advantage of what you find within. Okay. Um, anything more? What do you have to offer? Oh, I would like to begin another hunt. I'm pleased to hear it. Let me describe the next target. It is some distance into the northern frontier, but you may be able to find it. The Kytrek infestation of the Evernight Caverns have sadly spread infestations have sadly spread into the northern frontier. There is a large pocket of them in the Anama Haven. Okay. Uh, I've heard rumors that one of the Kytreks in the Anama Haven has mutated and developed the ability to cloud the minds of its prey. Lark wants its head so that it can be boiled into a soup. I don't know why that is mentioned in a like like an afterthought, but okay. Uh, also, we did uh, learn parry. That was the skill. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. I mean, parry sounds like it's specifically only against melee attacks. Let's see. It is a special skill, though. Uh, chance to reduce the damage from a melee or missile attack. Okay. I wonder if missile in this context um, includes magic, but I mean, even if it's just physical attacks, that's still nice to have, I suppose. The more the character has, the more damage is reflected, deflected. Hmm. So it's only a chance to deflect in the first place, and then it's not going to be a whole lot unless you have more points. Ah, okay. So what do we get? Oh, hello, mutant lizard. She didn't mention that whatever reward upstairs uh, would be, uh, you know, protected, guarded. But uh, it doesn't seem too bad. It's usual. I mean, it's really just a normal lizard. Same kind we've fought multiple times. Okay. And that gives us uh, strong days. Oh, really? Wow, that's a high level spell. A skill, a skill, spell, spell. <laughs> you know, uh, strong days cost eighteen. All nearby enemies. Okay, so it's like days but better, and much more expensive. Three times as expensive. Hmm. Of course, I don't know. I haven't really been making much use use of the normal day spell as it is, just because it tends to be unreliable against stronger targets. I mean, obviously, that's kind of the idea of the stronger days. 
for it to be more reliable against strong targets. So, uh, but but also another aspect is of course that many creatures are just inherently immune, like any constructs, undead, you know. But um, you know, eventually I'm gonna have access to this as soon as I can put I think two more points into no three yes two more points into mage spells. Well, that's gonna be a while, but uh, maybe we'll actually get there eventually. Okay, this is not accessible. Right, okay, we had seen this before. I had not... Oh, that's... <laughs> I was going to say that I had probably not noticed this uh, button here before, because I can't see any anything that it would have opened, but nope, it's not actually a button. Just a fake. Right. Okay. Well then. Nope. I guess that is that. I don't know, the parry skill doesn't seem like an amazing reward, but, you know, I'll take it. And we have the next quest. So, with that, we will return to Solberg's Tower. I don't think we have anything new. No. Solberg's Tower. And I guess we'll head back into the northeastern quadrant to check out a few things there. Explore the rest of it. I'll check out that ladder leading downstairs. To the area connected to Morov's vault, and also check out that uh, that ramp in the no far northeast. Uh, what's a safe way to get through here? I guess there isn't a safe way. Mm. Going to be the guardians right here. It's kind of safer to go through the middle of this, sticking close to the buildings to avoid the. The roads. Uh, this is extremely uncomfortable. And randomly, after they've almost completely passed us, okay. Oh, <laughs> they're just the worst. Maybe I'll try to go around this way. Yeah, but there are these. Oh no. The patrol's coming back. That is too close. They're gonna notice us. They did not notice us yet. I'm baffled. But I will take it. Okay. Someone made it through. I don't know how... Uh, we're going to do the usual buffs, minimum buffs, like so. Save and enter, okay. Is this going to be a large enough place to warrant a light source? Uh, it's super dark, actually. I kind of needed light source, and we might enter another another cave before this expedition is over. More guests. Same as uh, the ones we fought up here, huh? Seems like it. Okay. Mm, I guess I'm gonna wait here just in case there is more of them. So, armor break. Okay. They don't have a great hit chance against us, which is nice. Oh, all right. <laughs> so used to having multiple actions per turn from that from those many many attempts against more of. Okay, that's one down. Another one almost down. Ah, unfortunate. There's a fireball there. Might as well finish this one off, but there is another one down here, right? Yes, there is. What? Huh? Didn't... What wasn't... What happened? Wasn't it Tattersail's turn and... Am I crazy? <laughs> I'm, I might be crazy, okay. There was only that one left. Maybe I'm crazy. 
it's probably just another, yet another case where I was mousing over her and she was highlighted, and that's why it, I thought it was her turn. It just keeps happening. Okay. And we get a bunch of corpses down here. How many? Um, three of them. Okay. Sword. Healing elixir. Okay, that's neat. Cloak and belt. Some coins. Candle. Okay. A gold ring. Okay, and that's it. Nothing on the ground. No buttons. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Kind of lame, but you know. Now we know. Okay, we should be safe along the wall here. Oh, that was. Oh, warp walls. Yeah, we've uh, we've encountered these on our first expedition before we loaded, right? I remember seeing these. And of course, uh, we'll have to just choose to attack them if we want to check out what they're guarding. So, sorry, wolves. Yes. Okay. We get a one free turn before the rest of them join the fight. Two turns, I guess? Well, one turn where we're only fighting one of them. No, never mind. They did become active, they just didn't act right away. You know, to speed things up a little bit, there. War Blessing, the appropriate wolf icon. Okay. And they're somewhat resistant to magic, aren't they? Also somewhat resistant to physical attacks, actually. Maybe just... Maybe just Somewhat resistant to damage. Yeah, nothing deals amazing damage against them. I can manage. Slowly but truly. How tough is this bat here? Oh, it's very weak. Okay. Not worth my time then. Some acid, because why not? Even though it doesn't do all that much. Nice double hit though. That's appreciated. Ouch. Okay, um, wait a little bit. That's not the right button. Or the right scale. There. Heal and uh, do we get anything from them? More crystal from somewhere. From shield. And this is some money and an armor elixir. Ah yes, okay. We have one of those. Okay, well, not amazing, but better than nothing. Um, is there going to be a tr patrol on this part of the road? I hope not. Well, we've seen the inside of this house now. Oh, we've never seen this. Uh, there's definitely guaranteed to not be anything of any value in there. Okay. But I have to know. Yeah, patrol is just coming. Can't be helped. Wait, except... Oh. Didn't even stay on the road. Okay, nothing in there, right? No. See all of it. Of course, the biggest thing to potentially miss would be staircase leading... Leading up or down somewhere. Uh-oh. Where are they? Still there. Hmm. Save the game? Okay. Oh, hey. Speaking of which. Okay. Anything on the floor? Bars of iron. I'll take it. Random... Random junk. And uh, curing elixir. All right. And healing elixir. No buttons? No, obviously not. Okay. Oh. Are they moving out all the way into the field here? Don't like that. Save the game. Move along the wall. Okay, up here. Never actually been up here. But this must lead to the top of this, this very, very tall cliff here, yeah. Oh. Huh. Shock Troop Sentinels, and they're already hostile. 
Interesting. Wow, okay. Well, it's uh, way here, I guess. Ouch. Wow, they hit hard. Holy crap. Well, they hit hard anyone other than Rasluka, I suppose. They also poison because of course they do. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming this is... Oh, actually, over here. Remote tower, yeah, I mean, okay. Obviously, this must be Solberg's. Because, well, duh, it's his domain, and it's protected by his sentinels. So, I guess there is a non-zero chance that just even approaching this place and destroying his, his personal guardians here will make him angry. But then... I would hope that the game at least gives me a warning when I'm actually about to trespass. Because we, we aren't explicitly... we haven't been explicitly forbidden from, from exploring this quadrant at all, right? We were just told that it's dangerous because there is no protection against the... or no, no authorization protection, protecting you from these from the Guardians here. And we were obviously given a, an official quest from one of Solberg's assistants to enter here. So we are allowed to be in this place. And obviously we weren't told to not go up the stairs into the cliffs. So it would be kind of kind of mean, is all I'm trying to say, if the game actually would actually just punish you for being curious. Please don't! At the double attack, of course. Uh, I did save beforehand, did I? Pretty sure I did. Probably did. Oh, well, yeah. Not immediately before. But close enough. Okay. I mean, this is gonna be a little bit nasty. Having to deal with uh, two of them at the same time. Unless we can lure only one, it might be possible. But with some preparation, we should be able to deal with two. There, this should probably be good enough. Oh, okay. There is a small tower up here, made of smooth grey stone blocks. The tower has, com has a commanding view over much of tranquility. It is also very quiet, and no smoke is rising from the chimneys. Uh, there are two sentinels standing guard. They are the only sign of anything resembling life up here. Okay. A uh, little, I don't know, summer home that Solberg built for himself but never used. Or, well, isn't using currently, I guess. At the very least. Reduce its attack power. Hopefully... They should both be focusing on Rasluka now, because she attacked first. Yes, okay, good. That typically works, so that's nice. Gonna heal her a little bit. Okay, decent damage from from ice. How about acid? Okay, I mean, it works. Fire also works. Not much in terms of magical resistance here. I like it. Double hit. Yeah, if you don't, so long as you don't have them randomly attacking squishy party members, and you're at least a little bit buffed. I guess they're really not that bad in small groups. Um, let me just try to finish it off. Actually, probably top us Luca off just to be safe. Sure. A little bit afraid that it might shift its attention over, but... Oh. We'll see. It might happen. Nope. Okay, almost dead. Uh, well, fatigue is not going to come back in time. So it doesn't need to. Nice. Oh, also, I dropped a Sentinel Power Stone. Sweet. Uh, we want eight total, right? Because we already delivered one, we need nine in total. Yeah, okay. 
cool. Uh, worth it, I suppose. If it doesn't turn out that indeed just coming here was uh, was too much. So what's it say here? Come on. What does it say? Uh, Solbrook's retreat. Keep out. Okay. Hmm. That is an explicit warning. Nice little look out here. Yeah, camera is going crazy because of the great height difference here. We are saved outside. I'll take a look inside. Um, we have a spell to deal with these barriers. Okay, a lever puzzle? P puzzle? Puzzle? Um, golden goblet. Might as well. We're already trespassing, I suppose. Uh, gremlin wine. I mean, yeah, I guess. Why not? Um, okay. Okay. Okay, I see. Each one of these affects something else. Uh, isn't this? Wait. Yep. <laughs> that seems pretty easy. Is this a vase you can take? Sure enough. Uh oh. Do I save now? I'm gonna take a look upstairs. Whatever. I saved just outside. I have to redo the puzzle. It was uh, the second, third, and fourth levers pulled, right? That's all it took. Uh, wait. Unlock. Okay. You enter Solberg's private laboratory and start to look around. While the room is full of the expected papers, pots, and alchemical junk, your attention is drawn to the four stone pillars around the room. It must have taken a lot of effort to haul them up here. They are covered with chisel marks and strange designs. Maybe Solberg was trying to develop a new sort of golem. These things, huh? I mean, they sure don't look like golems. So, with any luck, they're not actually ready to, I don't know, rise up and attack me, although, I don't know. I feel like I'm probably not that lucky. Surprisingly, this is a prayer book, not a spell book. It looks like it was obtained slash stolen from the Anama. Solbrook must have been reading up on their practices. It describes battle chants they use when they need to defend themselves, which is often. You learn how to bathe your enemies in, cor in correcting fire. Nice. Your skill with the spell Divine Fire increases. Wow. Awesome. Uh, can we actually cast it? We totally can. Wow. Okay. So, as uh, as expensive as Lightning Spray? Deadly Cloud of Fire. Well, finally our priest has a, an AoE attack spell. Assuming we can actually get out with it uh, and live. Okay, there's definitely more to get here. Um, whatever Slovak was trying to do with the stone pillars, it was, a, it was a success. They begin to melt and shift. As you watch in horror, they take the form of four stone creatures. They look like hellhounds, but with a distinct feline edge. More cheese balls? Oh no. Uh, one says, Have I been called already? Does the boring old one need to burn through another familiar so soon? That's a, a cheese ball backup storage. Oh no. The second says, No, soon we may rest again. We have just been called forth to deal with a morsel of an intruder. The third says, But can we not go free? We are alive. The door is open. Can't we shake off the unbreakable bonds placed upon us by our senile old creator? The final one says, No, there is no hope. We must do our bidding and devour this trespasser. Then we can rest. That is the best that we can hope for. So let's get it done. Oh no. Cheese ball. Three, four, five, and six. Uh, oh god. I mean, one of them wouldn't be so bad, but four of them? Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this. Also, I wonder if Solberg wouldn't uh, at least know that we fought and defeated these guys if just entering wasn't enough. I mean, we could have gotten away with the book, actually. Hmm. Uh, well, I obviously don't want to quick save now, one step away from potential death. So, what do we do instead? Um, um, well, we can't cast Strong Days, or else I would try that. Let's try Normal Days. Maybe it works. But, uh... Didn't actually do anything. Okay, interesting. I'm sure we could have cast a buff before the, the actual fight started. But I guess any combat spell will always trigger combat before it can go up. Okay, let's let's just see how bad they are. 
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um, don't break days. Confusing energy. Okay, that's that hurts. Ninety-five damage. Wait, what? Oh, second swing. Didn't it say ninety? Didn't I see a? Oh, that was that was. Tetris say Wait, what? Oh yeah. Okay. Exhaust stock ninety-five. Yeah. Okay. 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 Magical damage. And then Tetrasail took pretty devastating physical damage. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't really see this happening. I suppose technically we could try retreating into this chamber here, or, you know, have everyone stand in here, then initiate combat and have well, Ross Luca run forward to, to start the encounter, and then retreat back into the room. But yeah, uh, just surrounded by them, when they can just deal that kind of devastating damage. Don't see that happening. Of course, we're obviously not supposed to be in here. We could have grabbed this this one reward and run with it. It'd probably be fine. Um, and I'm going to try and do that. Then go back and visit Solberg and see if he's actually angry or not. And I'm going to take a note about this place to come back to later. To maybe handle this like, uh, you know, treat this like the like freeing the drake. Back in the drake pillars. Where... Uh, after we're done with the region and we no longer need Solberg to be cooperative, um, we'll just come back here and, and, you know, kill his pets and loot his storage, uh, even if it makes him angry. But yeah, I mean, for now, I don't see myself having any kind of chance against this anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll break into it again. Let's see if I can remember the correct uh, lever sequence here. Steal the goblet and whatever was in here, right? The wine. And let's see. Two, three, and four. And there we go. Oh, the vase was takeable. I'll take it on the way back. Open this. Uh huh. Sneak past. Quickly read this. And we're out of here. Grab this. I mean, yeah, the, the sign says to keep out. I did destroy two guardians, steal a few things, but in the presence of that book there, kind of makes me think that we're probably safe. I mean, if all else fails, I'll just reload my hard save from the beginning of the, of the episode and redo what little I did. Not a big deal. Actually, we've fully explored this place now. Could head into this. Um, could head into the Goblin Fortress. Except um, that there are guardians on this side, yeah, okay. So we actually can't get through from this side. Save the game. Just make a run for it and hope for the best. No, no such luck. Okay, so there's a patrol coming from there. So we move further this way. And now run and hope for the best. Hey, made it, okay. And now we visit Solberg to confirm whether we're screwed, whether we messed up. Uh, reclines in his chair. What else do you want? No mention of us uh, breaking into his property there, destroying his sentinels. Okay, guess we're good. Well then, so I'll go ahead and sell some things and yeah why would, why don't we head into the goblin fortress that might also be how you enter the underground area of course in fact that would make a lot of sense wouldn't it yeah honestly i'd kind of forgotten about that place until just now um so that probably is the solution to that mystery because not only is that nearby but that is actually literally on the same map as that farm right think so. Oh, it's so nice. We are actually allowed to be in the sector. We don't have to avoid stupid sentinels. So good. Yep. Okay. Right, and after reloading that one time and redoing the sneaking, I did not 
fully invade this little antechamber here. So we have a few more goblins. Actually, just one more goblin that somehow didn't join the fight that time. And we also didn't loot this place. Oh, wow. Nice damage. Oh, goblins. They're going to be so relaxing to fight. After what we've been through recently. Ah, energy potion. Right. Sweet. You tend to use more because, well, you just have less mana. Quite a bit less. Oh, you get that one. Oh, hey. Missed this the first time around. Okay. And we head down into the Goblin Fortress. Oh, buffs are gone. Yes, of course they are. We'll see if I get a chance to try out my new Divine Fire spell. Or whatever it's called. Yes, Divine Fire. I mean, it is expensive. But it is another AoE option for when I need it. Use one of those. Save the game. Okay, and we're ready to proceed. Goblin Raiders, nothing special. I'll just charge forward. What could possibly go wrong? Look at the damage we deal to these. It's... Okay. Oh, this is too tempting. Let's see. Seems like the same targeting circle size as uh, I see rain. Didn't it say a small radius? Okay. Decent damage. Let's see, is it? Is it bigger? Actually, no, I'm not so sure anymore. Who are you? Uh, Bors the Shaman. Ah. Oh. Probably should have just uh, cast Acid on him. Okay, summoned it. A lizard. Not particularly tough, though. You know, some attack power or extra damage can't hurt. Break his armor. Oh, he reflects quite a bit, too. Oh, yeah, that's 16 with 54 blocks. That would have been a lot of damage. Okay. I don't know if he's gonna hit very hard, but reduces attack power nonetheless. Okay, he buffs with a shield, that's annoying. Let me take out this thing. Okay. There wasn't so much that much damage. Okay, Ris Luka has been slowed. Not a big deal. He's running? Okay, just barely under half health, but, you know, understandable, honestly, considering how the fight has been going. He... what now? Wait. He's still terrified, though. He's... huh? Isn't he? Or is he just stunned? Am I crazy? What's the shaman flees in terror? And is stunned. And is still able to act. Pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to how that's supposed to work, but you know. Since it's not actually an an enemy that needs to be taken seriously. I I guess I'm not gonna complain too loudly. Just a little bit, you know. And we get nothing special. Group heal scroll. Probably dropped by the guy. Short sword. Another sword. Another crystal. Okay. Lightning. Not that necessary anymore, but at least it's free. 
knife. Oh, okay. Poor leather helmet can't be sold. Money, shielding potion. Yep, you have those. More random stuff. Saw so, a sword, yeah. And an iron shield as well. Anything else? That's a poor helmet. I think we're good. Looking at the walls here, don't see any secret passages quite yet. Okay, and we move on. Fire lizard. Why, hello there. Oh, that's a lot of them. Chief Grist. Already we encounter the chieftain of this place. Okay. Um, maybe just start by breaking his armor. Because why not? He has a decent amount of hit points. Okay, I guess, again, attack power. Mm. It's not going to be particularly efficient. Maybe take two steps forward and actually actually cast days? Oh, okay. Only affected these three and they all affect, uh, they all resist it. Oh well. Kind of want to defeat these things though. Hmm. Okay, let's look at actually parried that one fireball, which answers the question as to whether magic can be parried that way. That's nice. Come on. A single fire lizard was was dazed, huh? This one. Okay, not amazing, honestly. Um, bit of a waste of a turn. Okay. I don't know, maybe I should just focus on, on the chieftain. Ouch. Okay. Kind of random. I guess he saw Swafnir shoot his friend. So maybe not so random. Okay, protection. I guess this is, this is going to be a bit of a longer fight, so... Yeah. Nice damage. Please resist or... Oh, okay. That works. Go to heal there. Haste. I guess we'll haste the healer as well. Armor should still be broken. It's not hitting very hard, so let's just go volume blow here with a double hit, nice. And we just deal damage. Oh, terror. But we all resist it. Okay. Basic heals. Thought I was gonna get the other one right here. Good enough, I guess. Okay. Keep her alive. I guess no one's attacking him right now. Still have to deal with the rest of them. It's gonna take a little while, but yeah. Overall, not a very tough fight. Just just a few hit points to chew through. Nice. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's not actually gonna take very long. Okay, and that guy died around here and dropped a lava fired spear. Sounds fancy. 10 to 30 damage and fire resist. Yeah, okay. Maybe not that great, actually. Worth a thousand, though. That is definitely welcome. A 
as well. Top her off real quick. Save the game. Anything in here? Nope. Any leather dropped? Wait, what? Wrong button? Yes, wrong button. False alarm. So, did we actually deal with all the goblins? Probably, huh? So the rest of this is going to be the Kydrak infested tunnels? Probably. That's where we came down, yep. Okay. I was expecting a bit more of a, a goblin fortress, but I guess not. Kydrak, hello. Several Kydraks. Yeah, okay, the rest are gonna try and make their way around. And successfully so. Probably. Uh, you're probably not gonna be in, li in line of sight with everyone, right? No, actually you were. Never mind. Nice. Okay, this one doesn't know what to do. Okay, we got more running around. There's probably also going to be some sort of Kytrek Queen somewhere around, if I had to guess. Typically how this goes. No, nice. Oops, uh, that's not the right spell. Don't need to heal. <clears throat> yeah. Being a little bit careless with my mana here. But of course we can easily return to the surface and to the tower to heal. Oh, Kytrek Claw. Wait. Are we supposed to... Oh yeah, 5 plus 20 Kytrek Claws, my, my notes say. So I guess one quest that requires 5, one that requires 50? 50, 50. 20. Thankfully not 50. No, 5 and 20. Okay, well. Congrats, one more thing to collect for you. But if that's a drop rate, one out of how many? Six? Seven of them? That's, uh, yeah, collecting 25. It's gonna take quite a few dead Kydrex. Oh, there's the next batch. Five more. Okay, for now they're all Focusing on her. Gives us a chance to spend our mana very recklessly. That's just... It's so... Satisfying, I was gonna say. Why? C could you not? Can you not fit three? I guess not. Okay. My bad. Should have moved more carefully in these narrow spaces. That was a wasted turn. Oh well. Surprisingly, they're all still attacking Rastuka. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna spend more mana. Oh hey, Rastuka leveled up. Congrats. Six skill points. Not enough for melee weapons. Which I'm pretty sure is what we're trying to increase. Quick strike. Uh, bonus action points. Yeah, that's that's neat and all, but don't think so. I could inc increase a quick action and then have enough uh, for melee weapons next level up. Sure, why not? Okay, now do this, nor this. Can you not? Really? Okay, just a bit finicky today. Hey, there is there is another claw indeed. Oh, two actually. Okay. Most of that health back. All 
right, more dead ends. Oops. Just double checking if there's. The game's trying to be tricky and hiding items in little corners that you can't actually see at all. Oh. Egg tender. Ah, there we go. 600 health. Let's uh, hang back here and see if it maybe wants to. If, if something else wants to come. Finance assistance, okay. War blessing. Haste. I feel like we're in a pretty decent situation here, potentially. We'll see how this goes. Armor break? Oh, I. Am I dumb? Did I already break armor with Sophia? I think I did. That was a waste. Could have reduced attack instead. Or just dealt more damage. Still dealing a lot of damage, actually, speaking of which. Do I heal or do I risk passing protection instead? I could do both. I do have um, group shield. I will use that. And heal. Okay. Paste her. And him, I guess. And then we just start killing the thing. Not taking a ton of damage. Okay, how tough are these? Well, those are actually the same kind of Kyderk that we've been fighting, so that's pretty, pretty rough. Those are not particularly weak. Okay, somehow Xas is now acting before Tetrasail. That's new. Really, because this one is not in line of sight, it does not actually get affected. That's kind of lame. Well, so long as we're hitting the boss, I guess that's fine. Nice double hit. Nice double double hit. Quadruple hit. I like it. They're all confused. Well, most of them are too confused to actually reach any of us. Very nice. Nice. Almost dead. And there it is. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Mm, yeah, just speed the fight up. I yeah, just can't see that from here. That might be the last one. I guess we'll see. Save and check for drops. Okay, more of those. So we have enough for the first quest. Or, well, I don't know if that's going to be the first one we encounter. We'll see. Yeah, I know, I should just not be lazy and actually heal. Cure. There we go. Let's pretend we just destroy all the eggs we find here, because that would make sense. Oh, hey, uh, the first knowledge brew in an extremely long time. Like, we, we found half a dozen or so in the early game, and then we haven't found one for, I don't know, 20 hours of gameplay, it feels like. Vulnerable potion. Nice. Um, I'm not even going to think about who to give that to. Right now, it's all crystal, okay, sweet. We'll just, I will probably take a look at everyone's skills in between episodes to, you know, determine who needs it the most. Okay, that was that. Cool, that was uh, not so bad. The goblins were super easy, the Kytrex were a little bit tougher, but um, because we got really lucky with our positioning there, I guess, that just, that worked out very nicely. Hey, good news. Uh, there were Kytrex in the tunnel. I destroyed them. Then I was right. This is a relief. I didn't want to be seen as a fool, or worse, a troublemaker. I wish I had a way to pay you, but we are poor. We spend all we had getting here. Still, I hope that you will accept my profound thanks for your help. 
Sure. Okay, quest is complete. Did not actually get anything out of it, but probably got some uh, some XP though, I think. Uh, okay, so we ex fully explored this one, fully explored the upper half of this, and we are allowed into the southern, southwestern quadrant. Also, this episode has actually gone gone on for a while. I was thinking about making this one a uh, a little bit shorter. I'm still somewhat exhausted from uh, recording that other episode, the, the previous episode earlier today. But, um, ah, screw it. I can at least start looking around a little bit. Uh, you see four sentinels guarding the road ahead. They seem much larger and nastier than the ones you have met already. If the obelisk behind you is to be believed, the bracelet on your wrist will keep you safe. Yes, it better. Okay. Fiery sentinels. So I guess uh, if all goes... According to plan, we'll never uh, find out how tough these are in combat. Uh, northwest quadrant to north, any bracelet allowed. Right. Hello, scum tender. There are several Evernight farmers working here, carefully tending the algae vats. They're making alchemical ingredients, which is delicate, skilled work. Each wears an iron bracelet set with onyx. When you get close to them, they reflexively inspect your wrist, seeing what level of status you have. When they see that you are not inferior to them, they give you a jealous, they give you jealous, resentful looks. Only because we're not inferior, they're jealous? How can you be jealous of someone who's at the same status as you? Part of the reason they came here was to be kept safe from the Empire. They don't want to talk to you. Okay, fair enough. Scum tenders, stum, scum, st scum tenders, stum kenders. Just uh, being on the lookout. Oh, hi. Yeah, I think I saw this one. I must have seen this one from the other side of the barrier. Okay, you know. Before I forget about it, because it's also kind of hard to see on the map. Let's take a look. Oh, just some random ogres. With the exact same amount of health as those Kytrex, I think. Not very intimidating. Um, half of our buffs have run out, but you know. I think we'll be fine, maybe. Oh, that's a lot of ogres. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to be fine. Absolutely. No, I was thinking about actually dazing them, but screw that. Who needs that when you can just murder them? Okay, two of them are running. Um, why don't you go ahead and not finish that one off? Never mind, not even close. Okay, nice. You don't have enough for much of anything, so just shoot that one, I suppose. Nice. Satisfying. That was nice. And that one's running. Out of range? There we go. Okay, this is the easy part of the caverns, obviously. This and the... Well, I mean, it, it makes sense, obviously. The areas that we're actually officially allowed to, to explore, being the easiest ones, should not come as a surprise. And the ones that we were explicitly warned about being pretty tough and, in, in, you know, containing some pretty tough encounters. Also, really shouldn't be a surprise. Okay, more ogres. Unfortunately, we can't really rain fire anymore. Ah, uh, you know, I should have had Res Lucas shoot them. Thankfully, they're kind of slow. You, know, you can at least do this. You can haste her up. And we have attack them so they will hopefully focus on her don't uh, actually I guess if I'm not uh, going to use a lot of uh, spells or you know, area spells 
It doesn't really matter that they're not all here. In fact, that might even be better for us. Of course, I just uh, ended up using uh, area spells after all, so... So there's that. Okay, now this guy joins. Weird. I don't know when when was the last fight uh, the last time we fought any ogres, but I'm pretty sure they were worse back then. I mean, not just compared to now, but also these have very low hit points for ogres, right? Am I crazy for thinking that? Okay, more ogres. Well, I mean, I guess to make up for how easy they are individually, there are a lot of them. And there is some sort of chieftain. Gorla Knee Shatter. Hello. Okay. Well, I guess we'll still continue to do basically what we have been doing. Oh. That guy didn't do anything. Slightly suspicious. We still have the combat blessing. That did not do a whole lot. Also missed that one over somehow. Not really sure how. Okay, now the goblin, uh, the goblin, but the, the chieftain, I don't know what, where goblin came from, joins the fight. Mm. Would be so nice if I could just throw around some area damage here, but I really don't want to, to use potions for this encounter. I should have just I should have actually returned to town and healed. Oh well. It's fine. Um we are gonna make do. I guess I can at least use some items. Sure. That worked out nicely. Wasn't expecting to hit this guy, honestly. Um Acid on the boss. Are we gonna attack her? Never mind. Totally did not attack her. You. She could have thrown a fireball, actually. Um. Stuff me leveled up. Okay. Train, six points, not enough to do anything. Wait. Then I... Oh, actually, I, I think I had forgotten to to spend his, uh, the, 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 his last set of skill points that he got. And just uh, happened to check before this episode, I think. Or the last one? And I think I increased Sharpshooter by one point. I want to say that I did. Uh, the cost did not go up. It was already at 6 then. But that did leave him with one skill point. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just increase it again. Now the cost is even, so next time I'm going to put a point into bows again. It's a lot of points into into his uh, damage increasing, you know, range damage increasing talents. He's still not dealing amazing damage. I think I want to uh, reduce the Chieftain's uh, attack power here because he's actually hitting pretty hard. Also, he's surprisingly uh, using magic, which is uh, yeah certainly not what the name suggests or just the fact that he's an ogre, I guess. Well, and blow, and finally, we can focus on this guy. Okay, except that he also summons stuff and tries to terrify. Just overall, very annoying guy. Uh, well, throw one final fireball, I guess. At least he doesn't have a ton of hit points. I guess he is an ogre shaman of some sort. 
because might take a lot of physical damage. Hmm. I really don't want to. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to drink another potion. There, we can cast some smite for two damage. Okay, so frost damage is a no-go. I guess he does use frost himself, so that makes sense. Oh no, terror. That sucks. I can't cure it. That's annoying. And only because I'm... I refuse to uh, to use my my mana refills. Uh, days? I guess? Zombie resist? Uh, giant lizard stumbles back. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> better than nothing, I guess. Uh, terror? Bolt of fire? Acid shower? It's a single target, isn't it? Yep, sure enough. I can't tell if he's... No, actually he started out red, right? So he still has an acid debuff. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything then. I eh, might as well spend the last... Charge on that on that one there. Can we make it through this fight without any more mana? Uh, oh wait, now they're both running. Oh, I guess. Hmm. This is actually not gonna work, is it? No, no, no. Started taking way too much damage here. I mean, it's probably too late now, but I'd rather try to salvage this before, rather than start over completely. So... Okay, I mean, we took out one thing. Oh, wait. We're screwed, aren't we? I mean, she's screwed, basically. He wasn't attacked somehow, and somehow he got his turn. Take her place? <laughs> oh. This is so dumb. So volatile. He could just lose at any moment. What? Too far away? Kind of hoping to also get that red, but uh, yeah, the perspective with these uh, angles here. Very deceptive. No! Yeah, yeah, I deserve that. Absolutely deserve that. You know what? Uh, why don't I just call it an episode here? I should have just stopped when I said I... <laughs> when I said I should. And instead, I insisted on exploring more. That's what I get. Okay. I mean, we, we did save right here. But I will actually make my way back to, to town to heal. It's just... Yeah. Mana potions are actually somewhat scarce in this game. And, uh, you know. Anyway, what am I doing? I, I'm just going to end the episode here. Uh, as I said, I'm going to heal. We're going to head back here and crush these guys completely with, um, you know, all the mana in the world to spend. And, uh, yeah, then we'll continue exploring this place and actually... You know, taking the first look at the sector that we've that we're supposed to be in. Uh, what quests do remain here? All right, we have Tati's quest here. Stations. Oh, we have dealt with this. For Tiakura. All oh, right, I forgot that was that it was for her. More tools, more crystals. Right, still looking for more of those. And for Kydrek, of course, that's in the next area. Okay, yeah. So, but we have one quest to actually turn in. So I guess we may, might start with that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna return to the tower anyway. Um, but yeah, we have we then have Goodman Tati's quest, and then of course the main quest. Uh, not sure if we're gonna get to actually, uh, you know, deal with that. But uh, maybe we'll see. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon.
Bye-bye.